What is going on, guys? This is your boy Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to another NBA 2K21 modding showcase. Uh, first and foremost, uh, depending on when you're watching this, it could be late Monday, could be early Tuesday. Let's just say it's early Tuesday. Um, I am going to be from now on on the channel live streaming every Tuesday, eight to ten. Um, I know that's a short time, but you know, I'm a busy guy. I work a lot, so uh, Tuesday, eight to ten. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to do on stream. Last week we were kind of just chilling, talking some NBA basketball, going through some mods, nothing crazy. Let me know in terms of format what you guys want to see from the live stream. For this video, guys, we're going to be taking a look at some uh, NBA 2K21 mods. Now, you guys know how I usually like to do my modding showcases i usually cover all the different categories utilities courts jersey cyber faces well i've been out of the game for so long that well i'm, I'm really far behind so i couldn't get all that into one video it would have been like an hour so i decided to break it up into categories today we're going to do cyber faces another day we're going to do courts jerseys graphics you know all that good stuff but for today we're just going to take a look into the cyber faces um so other than that, guys, if you like the content, like the video. If you love the content, subscribe to the channel. I want to say thank you so much to everyone for all the support. And for those of you that are already subscribed with your notifications on, I do see you guys in the comment section early. Salute. All right, guys, so first we're going to take a look at two players that were recently updated in the NBA 2K uh, 1.07 patch. First, we have Bradley Beal. Now, apparently this is the next gen scan um, brought back to current gen. And let me just tell you, this uh, Cyberface actually looks pretty fantastic. It's very high quality. Uh, shout out to 2K for this. Um, unfortunately, they probably should have had this about six months ago because Beal doesn't wear his hair like this anymore. This this is not what Beal's hair looks like. So lucky for us, a modder named James Barroso, my man, no username, no nothing, just first name, last name, government name out here. Uh, he made a new Bradley Beal. And let me just say, I'm going to be honest, the with this Beal cyber face that he made, I don't actually like the uh, face texture. I, I don't like the face texture on it. So what I did was instead of installing the entire face, it does have obviously the updated hair. That's what we're going for here. Um, I just installed the hair um, file. So just the hair to get him his twisties or dreads, whatever you want to call them. That way we can have a nice, clean, uh, you know, updated Bradley Beal. And I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I think it looks good enough, um, you know, for now, if you're, you know, a big time Wizards fan and really want Beal updated. All right, guys, and next up, another player that was updated in the 1.07 patch uh, with an apparent next gen. No, see, because, because at this point, they're just doing it to piss me off. They know Ben doesn't look like that. They are just, they are now just doing it to piss me off at this point. And, 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 and I, I have had it up to here at this point. Well, all right. Well, in all seriousness, uh, we have a Ben Simmons cyber face and I, I, I don't I don't even know. What to, this doesn't this isn't Ben. This doesn't look, doesn't look like Ben. Um, I, I don't I don't know who cleared this. This is just goofy. Uh, the beard looks to this is go to the mod. This is this is a joke. Thankfully, we have an awesome mod by a user named DP uh, who got Ben Simmons back looking like Ben Simmons. It is a full body model and, uh, you know, it does have his updated hair and, you know, it's a little bit shorter than the default um, before the patch. And it's obviously shorter than the default uh, after the patch. I just I, I don't know who at 2K's. Uh, art team cleared that Ben Simmons cyberface because it's it's that bad like it it is that bad 
All right, guys, and next up, we do have uh, Jason Tatum. Now, this is the default Jason Tatum, and again, this scan is, is nothing new, but you know, there's nothing wrong with this scan. Over the years, you know, he's got a leg tattoo. They did go ahead and add his leg tattoo. I do believe this was the original rookie Jason Tatum scan, um, but, you know, over the years, they went ahead and added some 3D hair, gave him a, you know, a bigger beard and, you know, bigger mustache and things of that nature so, to kind of have him more up to date. Now, uh, the thing about Jason Tatum is over the over the, uh, the summer, Summer, um, you know, through the pandemic and through the bubble, he grew his hair out um, and it was a lot longer. So a modder, very talented modder, I think he's actually one of the best uh, cyber face makers in the game right now. Uh, Monkey Man made an awesome Jason Tatum cyber face for NBA 2K20. The greatest thing I like about the cyber face is it is, you know, headband compatible. So you can put them with a headband or without one and it still works. Um, the only thing about it is, is this is only for NBA 2K20. So another modder named Wes, shout out to Wes. Um, he went ahead and... Uh, um, I guess the, the word would be converted this to um, be compatible for NBA 2K21. So, you know, obviously, special shout out to him for putting that work in to uh, convert it. He's not the creator, um, but, you know, definitely wanted to, you know, point him out for, you know, doing that work and making this available to all of us for who are playing NBA 2K21 and have moved on. Now, one thing about all of these um, converted cyber faces, the one that was the ones that were initially made for 2K20, is uh, there will be inevitably some clipping issues with the jerseys and the body. You know, the body model in NBA 2K20 is different. It, you know what I mean? It's, so it's not exactly the same. So, so every now and again, there will be, you know, a couple clipping issues. But for me, that's not the number one thing I'm worried about. I personally would rather deal with the clipping and then, you know, obviously still um, have the... Um, you know the awesome face and tattoos and things of that nature so i had no problem with that so um, i definitely just wanted to go ahead and point that out for anyone that you know might be bothered by that keep that in mind but um special shout out to monkey man and special shout out to wes for getting this for us this uh, awesome jason tatum for nba 2k21 all right guys so next up we have the rookie anthony edwards uh the first pick in the draft and yeah i don't really know what else to say about this one this is i, I can't tell if this is a creative player or a face scan um whatever it is it's pretty terrible i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sugarcoat it pretty terrible um kind of a joke for this to be the first pick in the draft um and for him to be looking like this so uh you know that, that is a little bit unfortunate but I was fourth, fifth hitter. You know what that mean? Clean up, yeah. Scrape clean up on aisle three. Come, come get it. Scrape clean up. That's what they say. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we do have an awesome uh, Anthony Edwards uh, by again by James Bur Barozo. I'm gonna keep messing up this man's full name, but uh, he did a great job with Anthony Edwards. I'm not gonna lie. This looks really good. This looks ten times like actually ten times better, and, and it, it looks like Anthony Edwards. And it may not be perfect, but it is very good, and it looks a lot better um, than the 2K default. And again, especially if you're a T Wolves fan, like you got the number one pick, you want your guy looking right um so i'm glad to have you know a, a prominent rookie in the league looking right we've already covered mellow um and now obviously it's really good to get the number one pick looking right as well and finally guys we have kelly Ubre. now i feel like i've covered kelly Ubre a hundred times in terms of cyber faces on the channel but the irony of it is as many times as we've as we've covered cyber faces on the channel 2k doesn't ever really seem to get him right now they were able to update him recently fairly recently but even still uh this isn't really his recent look his hair is different it's more like a kind of a fro type thing so this isn't the worst cyber face in the world to be honest i think his skin tone's a little light and his face just overall looks a little bit weird Now, let me tell you guys what's cool about this cyber face. Uh, this is Kelly Oubre by Takeda Ivan. The cool thing about this face is it, it's actually a dual version cyber face. So uh, he, this will be the normal look when you know when you are checking out Kelly without the headband. Um, however, if you go and put a headband on him, it, it is compatible and the hair completely changes. So it's going to be more so, you know, depending on like you know 
whether you have the headband or, or not and, and you know especially if you're in like a my league or something what you can do is with 2k tools you can set him to kind of sometimes wear a headband and sometimes not so when you do go into a game you don't really know what version uh you're going to have so that's actually a really nice nice little touch here um this is a really good looking mod this is the most up-to-date that i've seen so far with the new new update so special shout out to taka to ivan for that all right guys so next up we have Kawhi leonard and uh this is a you know obviously the basic Kawhi leonard cyberface is it's fine it's realistic enough i think it looks pretty good actually i have no problems with this cyber face whatsoever um very fine there uh but uh Kawhi, due to his recent injury and i forget what the injury was actually i think he got hit in the face or something um Kawhi is now wearing like a clear mask uh so you know that uh, i think i was on stream last and a couple guys were um looking um, at my Kawhi, and he was wearing the mask and they said yo like what in the world like how did you get him wearing the mask he's not wearing the mask in my game um so you know i wanted to just share um this mob with you guys real quick take a look at Kawhi in the mask and as we take a look at uh, Kawhi in the mask this mod is made by a modder named 8mb rock mod so uh, he's got Kawhi in the mask and and it is I'm not gonna lie it's pretty goofy luckily this is only temporary while he's healing from this injury so um, hopefully he won't have to wear it too long uh, this is uh, definitely an interesting look for Kawhi but um, I, I had a lot of people asking about it so I wanted to share it obviously you know some people really wanted to have mask Masked Kawhi, you know, we've had a bunch of masked players, masked LeBron, masked Kobe, things of that nature. So masked Embiid for sure. So I just wanted to share this one with you guys. I think you guys really enjoy. All right, guys. And that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, wow. So much fire coming out of this uh, NBA 2K modding community. I'm just happy to cover it all. So much passion and so much heart going into all of these uh all of these projects guys uh be sure to join the nba 2k modding society uh you know to discuss these mods uh get them a lot quicker than i can share them of course and uh you know just have an overall good time follow uh the 2k modding society on twitter follow all my social networks twitter instagram at shady my gaming guys thank you so much for the support it means so much to me to see you know videos about simulation basketball and pc modding things that nature do well um you know i'm really passionate about this stuff and uh it wouldn't be possible without the support from you guys so other than that i am out take it easy peace threes